Justin Trudeau defended his government's refusal to extend Canada's mission in Mali as the Prime Minister visited peacekeepers in the north of the country on Saturday. Uh, we are very much working with uh, the United Nations to ensure that the transition happens smoothly. Uh, and we are confident, we are hearing from the, the UN that there isn't uh, a real concern about that gap being a problem. Uh, we are. We are very much focused on delivering uh, the absolute best support that we can uh, as, as we do, and we're, we're going to continue that. We will work with our partners to make sure uh, that the transition happens smoothly as it, uh, as it must. The Northland Barbershop Chorus of Sault Ste. Marie serenaded last-minute holiday shoppers near the food court at the Station Mall on Saturday. The event has been going on annually. As long as many of the chorus members have been involved, no one actually knows the exact number of years, just that it's been well over 20. And it's one of the ways they collect donations for the Salvation Army. Northland Barbershop Chorus President Fulgo Della Vadova said singing in the mall for Christmas is not only only an opportunity to practice, but to show the public what their four-part harmony sounds like. The Station Mall, he said, is the perfect location. It's usually pretty busy at this time of the year. Well, uh, we don't have to coax people to come out, which is really nice. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the, the people here are so responsive to music, and especially around this time of year. Um, it's, it certainly uh, uplifts the, the spirit of the season. Um, whether you know people are Christian or any denomination, it's just the music brings the best out of people and we love it and I know that they're really receptive to our kind of music. Bob Shammy, the Northland Barbershop Chorus Music Director, has been involved with the choir and in this event since 1981. So this has become an annual tradition for us that, that we absolutely love and it's, it's our chance to sort of say thank you to our hosts, the Salvation Army. Uh, that's where we rehearse. They're very good to us, and uh, so one day a year we try and repay their kindness by uh, singing here and kind of promoting them a little bit. Uh, they tell us that the kettle that we man all day today, we'll man it the entire day, that kettle is the single best kettle that they have in the entire Christmas season, so we're, we're glad to help them out. We um, always felt that, um, uh, we, we heard a saying once that the good Lord does not count the hours you spend singing against the time that you're allowed on earth, so we sing as often as we can. The response we get from the public is, is, uh, is always a delightful surprise. People, uh, this is the busiest time of year for people. It's a high stress time of year for a lot of people. It's a sad time of year for a lot of people. Uh, and and it's, it's a time that I think the need to reach out to people is more than ever. Most of the Christmas music we sing is uh, sacred music that sort of reminds people of why Christmas is celebrated, first of all. But also, we, we like the fact that we, we uh, are able to lift people's spirits at a time of year that maybe it, it, isn't hard, it isn't easy to feel the same joy that everybody tells you you should feel. Uh, we get comments from people all the time. They write us, they talk to us, they come up to us afterwards and, and tell us uh, how much this means to them. So with that kind of feedback, how can we, how can we not do this? At least 281 people were killed and more than 1,000 were injured after a deadly tsunami hit along Indonesia's Sunda Strait Saturday night. The waves followed an eruption and apparent landslide on Anak Krakatoa, one of the world's most infamous volcanic islands. Dozens remained missing from the disaster areas along the coastlines of western Java and southern Sumatra Islands. The death toll could increase once authorities hear from all stricken areas. Police are searching for a male suspect after a car drove into five pedestrians following a dispute at a bar in Mississauga early yesterday. Peel Regional Police say an altercation occurred between several people at the bar and it continued onto the street around 3 a.m. They say a man involved in the quarrel got into a vehicle and drove onto the sidewalk striking five people. A 23-year-old woman received serious but non-life-threatening injuries while the other four victims suffered minor injuries. Why won't you extend the mission by just a couple of months to make sure that there's not a gap before the Romanians arrive? Uh, we are very much working with uh, the United Nations to ensure that the transition happens smoothly uh, and we are confident we are hearing from the, the UN that there isn't uh, a real concern about that gap being a problem. Uh, we are 
we are very much focused on delivering uh, the absolute best support that we can uh, as as we do and we're we're going to continue that we will work with our partners to make sure uh, that the transition happens smoothly as it uh, as it must you've only done five uh, medica uh, here even though the level of violence in the country overall is rising do you think maybe you guys are in the wrong place absolutely not uh, so this is uh, this is a mission that badly needs Canada's help quite honestly from my point of view um, you know the medevac side it also guarantees maneuver so the confidence to drive on the roads here is guaranteed by the fact that someone knows they're kind of someone's coming to get them so you know the way I characterize it my soldiers every day is that we are the cavalry if something bad happens I'm coming to help you and so uh, the radius of action that we have is quite large as well it's 125 nautical miles so we can get our, our aircraft out to you if you were hurt uh, and that level of confidence to be able to patrol here is what's needed quite honestly for a lot of the two contributing countries Kevin Sharpen says he loves the extra space on his desk since his company got rid of analog desktop phones in favor of a cloud-based service. More and more Canadian organizations are phasing out desktop phones. The desk phone was easy, but then switching over to an online and putting on a headset, that was the hard, hard, hard part of adoption, I think. When you have a digital phone on your computer, the phone rings, but it's just a pop-up in the bottom right-hand corner of your window. And it, if you have your headset on, you'll hear it. If you don't, you won't. And so they still ring, but it's a lot quiet, a lot quieter. Police say a man allegedly broke into his mother's home and stabbed her in the forehead in Windsor on Saturday night. Windsor police say they were called to a residence around 1030 to find the woman with non-life-threatening facial injuries. They say a man fled the scene but was located and arrested shortly after. Police say the motive for the alleged assault is not immediately clear, but that the woman's adult son was not welcome at the residence. He has been charged with assault, assault with a weapon, and breaking and enter. The Thunderbirds concluded their year 2018 with a win on Friday night as they defeated the Express by a score of 4-1 at the Espanola Regional Recreation Complex.